this time together this evening. We're going to open up with a couple of songs of worship and praise. Lord, I lift your name on high. Come on, put your hands together. Lord, I lift your name. Say Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. So glad you came to save us. Stay right there. Do it again. Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. So glad you came to save us. Come on, you came. You came from him to show the way. From the earth to the cross. My death to pay. From the cross. Lord, I live the name on. From the top, Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I lift your name on high. I love to sing your praises. Lord, I love to sing your praises. So glad you're in my life. So glad you're in my life. Glad you came to save us. So glad you came to save us. You came. You came from heaven. a little bit. Come on, you came from heaven. You came from heaven's work to show the way from the earth to the cross. I can't say from the cross.
clap your hands and give God praise in the room. Well, we've assembled tonight. Well, I guess that broke. We've assembled tonight to give God praise and to give God glory. And I know it's kind of tight in here, but that's all right. That's what family feels like. That's what family feels like. Get used to family. Grab your neighbor's hand, if you will. Grab your neighbor's hand all across the sanctuary. And let's God's God's blessing over our time tonight. We come to sing. We come to rejoice. We come to magnify. We come to lift and exalt the name of Jesus Christ. And I don't know how your day's been thus far. I pray it's been blessed. But in case your week has been stressful, in case your life is going through a season, I want you to know that God is able tonight to lift your heavy load and to lift your burdens. If you'll simply lift your hands in worship and lift your heart towards heaven and give him the praise that is due his name. So let's go before the throne of grace tonight. Father, in your name, we praise you and we thank you for this day. A day that we've never seen before, nor shall we'll ever see it again. A day, God, that has already been covered and blessed by your blessings, your favor, your presence. God, your person, you, you, the person of Christ that dwells richly on the inside of our hearts has already made everything all right. Him right, I said years ago, it is well, it is well with my soul. No matter what happens in this life, all is well. And even on tonight, God, we, we might have bills due. We might have tuition that needs to be paid. We might be looking at this or looking at that and have question marks and maybe some stress or anxiety or maybe some things at home that are not settled, maybe some things on a job that are not straight. But, Father, tonight all is well, not because everything's going according to how we want it to be, but, Father, all is well because Jesus is Lord. And, Father, since you're Lord, God, we're going to align ourselves under your leadership and allow you to work everything out. So tonight, as we lift our hands, God, we lift our hands by faith. Many of us have to praise you by faith. Because we don't feel it, we don't see it, we can't touch it. But by faith we receive it as already done. Because we know, God, that you're working behind the scenes. And Father, as we assemble tonight, I pray, oh God, that the, the most prominent thing in this place would not be our problems, or another, neither another person, or any other issue in our lives. But Father, that on this anniversary we will reflect and even for the guests that are in the building that know not of a Baraka Baptist Church, may they reflect on their own personal journey and realize, God, you have been faithful to them time and time again. No matter what their name is, where they're from, what's going on in their lives, God, you have been faithful, God, to them. You have been dependable. You have been right there. You have sticked closer than any brother. You have never left them nor forsaken them. God, we praise you for your promises are sure. We praise you because your presence is with us. And tonight, God, we praise you because you're right here with us. So receive our praise. Move any hindrances out of our way that will hinder us from praising you. And I pray, oh God, over each and anointing over each group that will mount this platform and sing the praises of God. That you'll anoint them afresh. That you'll empower them, Father, to sing to the glory of God. That God, that your name and your name only gets the glory, honor, and praise. For we ask this in the name of Jesus. And all God's people said, amen. 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 And amen. Come on, put your hands together and give him praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, just lift it up a little bit before you take your seat. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. Come on, everybody, lift up, hold their hands, and just thank him. Come on. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
want to thank you. I just want to thank you, Lord. Come on, one more time. You've been so good. Lift it up. You've been so Thank you. I just want to, to thank you, Lord. You may be seated. Just sing it while you sit down. Sing it while you sit down. Thank, thank you, thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, thank you, Lord. Think about how He's been good to you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, and I just want to thank you, Lord. Now put your hands together and thank him if you're really serious about the song. Come on, clap those hands like he's been good to you. Give him praise and give him glory. We came to thank him and praise him tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Thank you. And you know what? A concert is really inadequate to really thank him like he's really worthy. Because the concert has a start time and an end time. And, you know, it's like event. We, we go in, we go out. But there's coming a day, and I don't know what you're looking forward to, but I'm looking forward to the day where I see Jesus face to face. And, and, and when we get to glory, there won't be a start time, there won't be a finish time. But it's going to be the Sabbath that has no end. We're going to praise them from the beginning all the way through eternity. Through the ceaseless ages of, of time, we will praise him and we'll worship him. And listen, we'll be okay doing it. Some folks don't, don't like to be in church too long, but get ready. Because if you're going to heaven, all we're going to do is worship and praise God. So look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, let's get this straight now. I didn't come here to be a, 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 a spectacle. I didn't come here to spectate. I didn't come here to irritate. And I didn't come here to agitate. But I came to participate. Because the Lord's been good to me. So let's get this straight before we get started. If I stand, don't get mad at me. If I jump, don't think of me crazy. If I dance, if I clap my hands, if I shout for joy, excuse me in advance, because God is worthy. I wish I had some witnesses somewhere in this place. I wish I had some company up in here. Somebody knows that God is worthy of his praise. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Clap your hands and give God praise one more time. Trying to, trying to be in worship and these musicians over here acting up already. Already. We're grateful, grateful to have some guests in the building tonight. And uh, behind me is the gracious choir from Oakland Baptist Church. And we're grateful to have you in Baraka Baptist Church. God bless you. And their pastor, Reverend Hayes, is with us tonight. Would you come? We have a word of greeting before the choir sings this, uh, this evening. Let's give Pastor Hayes a great hand as he comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. I mean, we're just here to worship the Lord. It's already been started. We don't want to put any water on this fire, and um, we just want to thank you all for inviting us here. We are a very humble church over in Alexandria, Virginia, where we just want to let people know that we love the Lord, amen? amen. And all that we do is for his praise, amen? We want to thank this great pastor for inviting us here. He came over to our church last fall, and uh, he did a workshop for us, and this choir has never been the same, amen? Amen. amen. So, we thank you, Pastor Bailey. We're looking for him to come back, but we just want to worship with you all today, man. So I'm going to get out of the way. 
I'm going to let them do what they do. And we pray that what we do here today will bring glory to God. Amen. 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 Amen.
we have one more song we want to do for you guys. But we have a favor to ask the Pastor, Pastor Stefan. We want you to direct us. <laughs> Lay aside every weight. <laughs> Pastor Stefan was our clinician when we, he did a workshop for us. And he taught us this song. So I'm asking him to direct us.
Be y'all so ready. I got stuff for y'all. Y'all better not bring me back in October. <laughs> All right. Give it up for the Oakland Baptist Church Mass Choir. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I tell you, when I, when I, um, Lynette's longtime friend, and uh, uh, when I found out where she was at Oakland Baptist, and she asked me to come over, uh, and I told Pastor Hazes, such a sweet spirit in this group. Sweet, sweet spirit. I was just there on a Friday and a Saturday. Sweet, sweet spirit. And I think that's just a reflection of how the church is and the leadership of the church. And Pastor Hayes, God bless you and God bless your ministry and what you're doing there in Northern Virginia. Pastor Hayes is not only the pastor of the church, but he is over the police department. Am I correct? Alexandria Police Department. Amen. Amen. So, if we're breaking the fire code here, please don't, uh, you're out of jurisdiction, so I <laughs> We're grateful to have you guys. God bless you. And um, moving right along, we're excited to have, uh, returning to us, uh, our friend uh, Capriya McClern. And she came here two years ago, blessed our hearts, blessed our socks off. And uh, we had to replace the lighting and everything else. Uh, <laughs> major renovation after she sang the last time. Uh, it's true, but major renovation. But uh, uh, she blessed her hearts in such a great way. And how many of you heard her sing before? Raise your hand. Ah, oh, we're in the right place now. We're in the right place now. Because the, the, the ones that didn't raise their hand, you are in, you are in, in line for a treat. Largo, once you hear this voice, you will never be the same again. <laughs> Put your hands together and give a warm Barack a welcome to our friend, Sister Capriya McClure. The pressure, the pressure. <laughs> Amen. I'm so delighted to be here. Can we give another hand clap for Pastor Bailey, First Lady Bailey? Amen. I'm so delighted to be here. And let's give one more hand clap for Baraka Church. 45 years. Hallelujah. And I'm so delighted to be here once again. So we're going to continue in praise and worship. Amen. Anybody love the praise? Anybody love the worship? All right. I'm in good company. Amen. Amen. All right. Can you all stand up on your feet and help me sing this song? Just clap your hands just like this. It's a familiar song. Say, I hear the sound of victory. Come on, clap your hands and say, I know the things are gonna, gonna change for me. Come on, clap your hands. Say, I make a sound everywhere I go. Oh, yeah. And I share the sound with everyone I know. Yeah, and because of his blood, I don't have to fight. And with every step that I take, I'm getting closer. And the louder it gets, come on, clap your hands, the more intense. And the harder. Victory. Come on, let's make some noise in the house. Say, I know that things are gonna change, gonna change. Yes, they will. Anybody believe it today? I'll make a sound everywhere I go. Say that I tell the sound with everyone I know. See, I don't have to fight 
children it makes me want to just wrap my arms around them that's my expression to them to show them that I love them and for God my expression to him is praise amen amen, amen. amen. praise is not just shouting praise is when you wave your hands praise is when you open up your mouth and speak well of the Lord so can we praise him right now come on the way you praise him go ahead and do it the way you praise him some people might want to wave your hands. Some people might want to move their feet. But God, we give you praise. We give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Song says we offer praise. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, we give. Set we 
mercy yes. toward us. Oh, I'm sorry, but I think about the goodness of Jesus. And I get all caught up. Would anybody feel the way that I do? He's been good. He's been so good. Time after time, he blessed me. Oh, he didn't have to do it, but he did. Oh, he kept me through danger, sin, and I'm sin. Wrapped his loving arms around me. He's been my joy. So tell him thank you for your goodness and your mercy toward us. Oh, for your goodness and your mercy toward us. We I got it. 
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. He's worthy of glory and honor. He's worthy of honor and praise. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to move in a minute, but it's time just to worship him and honor his name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, if you love him, open up your mouth and just praise him right now. If you love him, just tell him. Verbalize and give him the fruit of your lips. Just begin to worship him. He worthy. Oh, he worthy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless his wonderful name. Bless his wonderful name. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty good God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a gracious God. We serve a wonderful Savior. And he inhabits the praises of his people. He inhabits the praises of his people. Now, now God forget, God, God forbid we'd be louder at a party than we are in worship. I'm going to meddle a little bit here. God forbid, God forbid, now I know all of us, all of us are not at the same level of sanctification, but God, God forbid we go to a club and make more noise and make more rackets than we do in God's house. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Come on and talk to me up in here. Some of you ain't been saved all your life. Some of y'all just got saved. And you remember where you used to be. But I wonder if there's anybody tonight on March 20th that can open up your mouth whether you're used to it or not and just shout, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We give you praise! We give you praise! We give your name praise! Hallelujah! You brought me over for every single trial. <laughs> Woo! Come on, he brought you through it. He brought you through. Come on, listen. For every blessing. Now here's the part. Come on, lift your voice and say hallelujah. For this Lord. Hey. I give you praise. I give, I'm trying to let this thing go. Come on, stand on your feet. And let that be your hands on the night. For every mountain. Come on, lift your voice, everybody, everywhere. Shouting, carrying on, waving hands, sweating. 
sardines packed. Who invited y'all up in here? Ain't no harm to praise him. Look at your neighbor and tell him, ain't no harm to praise him. Ain't no harm at all to praise him. Matter of fact, we backed up on praise. We ain't praised him enough. We ain't thanked him enough. I'm looking around this room and there's some blessed folk up in here. There's some long old high school students that are blessed, better than blessed. God bless you and is keeping you. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Whew. Let's give a good God bless you for Capri and McClure. I'm never going to ask you to do three selections. Because your second one always makes a third one. <laughs> glory to God. You instrument for the glory of God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Reverend Samuel McClernand, raise your hand, sir. God bless you. Thank you, guys. There's family here. God bless y'all for being with us today. I marvel, and I'll be honest with you, we're a little church on a hill. Yeah. And most folk in PG don't know about Baraka. But let me tell you something, I am great, I am honored when people that I, and I always hang around folk that are better than me. All these folk? <laughs> All y'all? <laughs> but when, when they graciously accept the invitation to come Amen. and to Hallelujah. sing as, it, as though they might be at the Kennedy Center yeah. or some grand auditorium. Yeah. Temple of Praise right down the street. Now you've been out there many times. But humble enough to come to this little church on a hill to sing to the glory of God. And I just, I praise God for that. I praise God for that. Amen. Amen. Well, choirs, it's time to do the switcheroo. And while we do that, ushers, I need some ushers. I need some ushers. I need four ushers. So somebody grab some plates from somewhere. And let's get ready to lift an offering tonight. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I need one, two, three, four. And I want y'all to wait for just a minute. We're going to do the switcheroo. So, Oakland, would you be so kind as to stand? And um, here's what I'm going to do. If you would come down the center aisle until the seats get uh, uh, are taken, and then you can go and take your seats, okay? So would you just come down the center aisle and stand until Largo comes up and takes the choir loft area? <laughs> All right, Oakland, Alago, let them go first, and then uh, then you guys can mount the stage, and then Oakland can be seated where you're seated. While the rest of us are, are preparing to give, let's give to the Lord uh, cheerfully. God has been good to you, and let's give a portion of that back to, back to him in worship. Amen. All right, Largo, your turn. Amen. And once these seats are filled, you're welcome to drape around the sides. Amen. Amen. All right, as we, as we prepare to give in the evening offering, first of all, I know that many of you have obligations to your church and your gracious supporters of your church. We praise God for that. We thank God for your attendance here tonight and your giving tonight as well. And we ask that you be liberal in your giving as we endeavor to do what, continue to do what God has called, called us to do here at Baraka Baptist Church. Amen. Also, would you make your way to the front as we... Ask God's blessing over the tithes and the offerings. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. Doing the offering, musicians are going to give us some, some worship music as we continue to praise the Lord and celebrate tonight. Is it?
it rain? Is that rain? Is it raining outside? No, praise the Lord. You know what? We prayed and asked God, hold back the rain and the snow and the slush and whatever that was that was supposed to come. And you know what? The Lord answered our prayer. Amen. 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 The Lord answered our prayer. And this is not the first time the Lord has answered a weather-related request. But he's done it time and time again. And we knew that we wanted to have this event tonight unhindered. So praise the Lord for his faithfulness. Let's pray and ask God's blessing over the offering, and then we'll proceed. Father, in your name, we thank you for this day and for the opportunity we have to give tonight. Take what we have, Father, multiply it, use it for your glory and for your honor, that your name and your name alone might be praised. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give to the Lord tonight. Pastor and musician, so I, when I sit down and I and I observe, you know, stuff like that, that I, I'm convinced is has to be under the influence of steroids or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, God bless you. It, it, I'm just glad to have musicians in the house. Amen. 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 Give my hand. Give my hand. <laughs> we are not done yet, but feature group tonight. We're so grateful to have. Largo Merlin, Largo High School Amen. Gospel Choir, Amen. under the direction of my friend, uh, Brother Feldon, and he is so gracious. He's a parent at Woodstream as well. That's how we connected, and uh, through the course of talking and sharing, we said, look, what is the Lord doing? Why don't y'all just come on over here, bring all the choir, bring everybody, and we'll just, we'll just act like we got a big old church and we can just accommodate you. <laughs> One day y'all gonna show up and it's gonna be a big old sanctuary right up here. Amen. I don't shave back ministry just because, you know, you know, no, we're going to work the space until the Lord gives us a larger space. Yeah. And they're going to work that space until the Lord gives us a larger space. Yeah. Uh, 
now because it's glorifying to the Lord and edifying to God's people. Uh, so would you welcome hearted? I want you to put your hands, stand up, do it, shout, whatever you got to do. But give a warm welcome for the first time, but not for the last time. The Largo Gospel, Largo High School Gospel Choir under the direction of Brandon Felder. Give him a good God bless you tonight. Thank you so much for having us on the occasion of your anniversary. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done, continues to do. We won't be before you all long. Thank you so much for this invitation. This is the Largo High School Choir, the Grammy-nominated <laughs> Largo High School Choir. Be just pray for us. I'm, I'm feeling led by the Spirit after such wonderful ministry all afternoon. So we're going to kind of switch around. So y'all just be ready. All right.
Can you give a hand again to Miss Megan? We're going to be out your way in just a little bit, but I'm going to ask. That's a dangerous thing. Don't tell me to take my time. <laughs> you don't tell the teacher to take the time. <laughs> but I'm going to ask if Pastor Capricia, the pastor of music, can just lead a little bit of the song. We actually were singing it off of your latest release with Maranatha Gospel.
Well, we're gonna go a little further down Sunday school roll. There's a scripture that just says John 3:16. For God so loved the world. If you've been to Sunday school at least twice, you have memorized it. But we put a little, little spin on it, right? What did y'all say? What? Turn it up a little. Turn up. That's what it is. Okay, that's what it is. Here we go. Y'all ready?
can say is wow. Yeah. Yeah. All I can say is wow. Yeah. Give them one more hand. Give them yeah. one more starting one of the first gospel choirs in Portsmouth, Virginia, my high school at the time, in the early 90s. And that was our staple song. We travel around churches and other schools and we sing, oh Lord, how excellent. And, and, and they would blow. Portsmouth, you, you know Portsmouth? You what? You drove here from Portsmouth today? What part of Portsmouth? Truxton, I grew up in Truxton. Huh? Russell? Sounds familiar. I grew up on 2500, 2500 Portland Boulevard. And we had to come to Oxen Hill to meet. <laughs> yeah, no wonder you're playing like you under uh, Peggy Britt and the rest of them down there. That's your godma? I grew up listening to her play the piano at Centennial Baptist Church. We're going to talk afterwards. Y'all Y'all have been our conversation. <laughs> yeah, wow. That's a wow. You know what? But you guys just took me back. And I'll say this, and I want to encourage you because you're here. I want to encourage y'all. Because let me tell you something. I was reluctant to start that choir in, in high school. Because I didn't know if it would be accepted. There wasn't anything else like it in the sense of what, what I consider church. But I knew God had placed it in my heart to give me the gift of music. And when I started the gospel part, there were people that came out of the woodwork. When I say woodwork, the folk that I didn't think were <laughs> interested in God or Jesus or Christianity. We came up, I'll, I'll join. We had about, I don't know, close to maybe 60, 70 kids that joined the choir initially and they came out and they identified with it and, and many guys say we would here's our food you're talking about the foolish of preaching the foolishness of the gospel when, when you're young and you just don't you don't know anything about being politically correct That's right. That's right. you don't know anything about you know where the rules are and the boundaries are what you can say and what you can't say we would go to other, other schools during the school day and, and have assemblies black history programs or whatever it might be and at the end of a concert I would give an invitation just like I was in church yeah. <laughs> And folk would come down the aisle at school and get saved in school. I remember one time. I remember one time. I, I didn't have. A, I didn't have any to give them at, church, at school, so I gave them my Bible and I wrote it in the front of it. <laughs> I said, "Here's a Bible. Read it. If you don't read it, give it back to me." It was my own personal Bible. I gave it to them at school because I didn't know any better. I didn't know you couldn't do that in school. No one ever told me that that wasn't. Permissible. I just love Jesus, and I wanted the world to know that I love Jesus, and I was locking arms with other students and other friends that love Jesus. And you know what? It didn't matter where I was, in a church or in a school. If you're a Christian, you're a Christian wherever you are. You don't change just because you're on the, the per, uh, PG County school system. You're a born-again believer. And I, I, I'm telling you, young people, we need some young people that will not just show up on stage, but will show up in your hallway, in the gymnasium, in your cafeteria, wherever you are. If you really have a relationship with God, let it show. Let it show. And I challenge you because I was challenged. When I ran across those roadblocks and those hindrances, those people that didn't approve of the invitations and the gospel presentation, I had a choice. And you know what? I eventually stepped down from the post because, because you know what? I'm not going to cause make this a negative thing. But what I did, I stood for what was right in the midst of a culture that might not have been yeah and amen. But we need some young people today that will do the same thing. So God bless you in your ministry. 
God bless you in the ministry. And let me be clear, not just your singing. That's not what I just said. God bless you in your ministry. Because one day you'll stand before Jesus and he'll not reward you on how well you sung. Or how musically accurate or correct you were. But he'll, he'll, he'll reward you based upon how well, how well you served him. So use your music, use your song, use your platform to serve him. And as young as you are, Oh, I feel old right now. <laughs> as young as you are, never be ashamed of the gospel. Because Jesus is the only one that will reward your life more than any man, anything else in this life has to offer you. Don't even set yourself up. Serve the Lord. He's a rewarder of them that dil diligently seek him. And he's a faithful God to his promises. Woo, Jesus. We're done, but I want you to bow your heads and close your eyes because I never like to close any occasion without giving you an opportunity to respond to what you've heard. And I never take it for granted that anybody and everybody that comes to church knows the Lord. That would be presumptuous on my part. My job is to say what God says and to give you an opportunity to respond to the good news of Jesus Christ. Churches are filled today not necessarily with believers at every turn. There are many that go to church for alternate reasons. Maybe to find a friend, maybe to find a date, maybe to find a husband, maybe to get a business connection, maybe to, to, to hook up in a network, whatever it is. Find different reasons, different reasons. But the only reason that we're here tonight, and from this pastor to you, is for the simple sake of the gospel. The songs the rejoicing, the praising, all that stems from one fact that some of us have put our faith in Jesus Christ. So worship is just an ordinary, automatic response to somebody who's no, who knows the Lord. You worship him, you praise him. Gratitude wells up in the believer's heart. And if you're really grateful for the act of salvation that he's given to you and the, the gift of eternal life, You'll, 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 you'll praise him. You'll, you'll sing to him. You'll worship him. But maybe you've been here tonight and you couldn't really do those things from your heart. Maybe you need to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Let me ask you a question as I close. If you were to die right now, where would you go? If you were to die right now, where would you go? Is heaven your home? Are you just as sure for heaven as if you're already there? Have your sins been forgiven? And have you trusted Jesus as your only Savior? We're coming up on Good Friday. This is Palm Sunday. And what happened on Palm Sunday, there were many that, that shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And then a week later they were saying, crucify him, crucify him. Because they didn't really know who he was. And never, never let it be said that we rejoice on a Palm Sunday, but walked away without a relationship. The reason Jesus died on that cross and hung, bled, and died, and he took all of the punishment, all of the beating, all of the punishment that you and I deserve, he took it upon himself. And the Bible says that he's a spotless lamb of God, but he became sin for you and for me so that you and I might have our sins forgiven, washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. He did that for you. Why? Because he loves you. And even though he knew that we would turn our backs on him and we would be untrustworthy, that we, we would be unfaithful, that we would not be dependent. He knew it before he died on the cross, but he did it anyway because it wasn't based upon our performance. It was based upon his love for us, which is agape. And all you got to do is say yes to him. That's all you got to do. You don't have to give another thing in the offering. You don't have to flip over pews. You don't have to do anything spectacular. All you have to do is repent of your sins and accept the free gift of salvation. It's all you got to do tonight. And I don't know who I'm talking to, but I feel burdened in my heart that there's somebody here tonight that's been in the midst of godliness, but you don't know God. And I implore you, don't leave this place tonight without making sure Jesus is your personal Lord and Savior.
And I need the saints to pray right now because I don't want any fight with religious spirits. Blinding your eyes, blinding your reality. I'm okay, I'm okay. No, you're not okay unless you know Jesus for yourself. Jesus makes it all right and Jesus alone. All heads are bowed, all eyes are closed. Can you answer this question? Here's the question. Preacher Bailey, pastor, I know Jesus is my Savior. If that's you, just raise your hand. I know Jesus is my Savior. Raise your hand if you know him. All across this building, if you know the Lord, raise your hand. You've been to the cross. You've been to the cross. You know Jesus. You've invited him in. He's your Savior. He's your Lord. Hands down. If you could not raise your hand, beloved, let me ask you to do something. Pray a prayer like this and pray it after me and mean it with all, all of your heart. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. I invite you into my life. I give you my life. Save me. Forgive me. Make me your child. And on the authority of God's word, here it is, beloved. If you prayed that prayer a minute, Jesus saved your soul for sure and forever. No man can pluck you out of the hand of God. You belong to him. And I want to ask you if you'll be bold enough to make it known tonight. I'm here. We got some other pastors here, preachers here that will lead your counselors. Listen, you make it known tonight. We're going to stand and sing one chorus of a song. But I want you to simply say, Pastor, I want to make sure that I know the Lord before I leave this place. 940 on road could be an accident out there waiting for you. Not trying to scare you. But you need to know Jesus. Is that real? Everybody's standing on your feet. Let's sing something. I don't know what, whatever you got. I'm going to stand here for a minute, and we're going to be done. But if you need to come and make that known, you come right now. Salvation, rededication, whatever it is, prayer, maybe whatever it is, you come. You come. We're going to be done. Where are we at? Take me back. Take me back. To the, place, to the place where I first received. Oh, take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Is there one? Sing it one more time. Come on, everybody, everywhere.
All right, we're going to direct you to where that is as soon as we dismiss. Grab hands with your neighbor. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We praise you. We give you glory for what you've done in this house tonight. Your name is great and greatly to be praised. Now, Father, I pray that the praise will not end just because this event has ended. But may we take this opportunity to continue to worship you as we leave this place, but never your presence. Watch between us each individually and collectively and bring us back together again safely. We pray, oh God, for many opportunities where our guests and friends can gather together and worship once again. Thank you for 45 years of ministry here at Baraka Baptist Church. And we pray, oh God, that you will continue the work that you've begun. We know your word says it, so we believe you by faith. You're going to complete what you started. So God, continue to have your way in each and every one of our hearts. For we ask it in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. 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 God bless you. Good night.